Tonight, we'll be making an image of Jupiter using this thing. It's the biggest telescope I've ever used that wasn't in a dome and wasn't for science, so the clear dark sky chart is reporting average to above average seeing for the whole night, so I think we should be in for some pretty good conditions. A really important thing we need to do before we do anything else while it's still light outside is to align the finder scope with the rest of the telescope. That way, we can point the finder scope and know that whatever the finder scope is pointing at, the telescope will be too. Right now, the finder scope on top of this thing is going to help us point this directly at Jupiter, but we have to make sure that what it's pointing at, this thing is pointing at. Right now, I've got the finder scope pointed at the top of that tree. We're not looking quite where we want to, but the optics on this thing are outstanding. Now, the view through the finder scope is the same as the view through the telescope. Okay, so right now the telescope is cooling down and should be at optimal temperature in a couple hours around 6 p.m. That'll be just in time for the sun to go down and Jupiter will be transiting right overhead, so it'll be the best viewing conditions of the night. Unfortunately, around the time we're observing, the Great Red Spot will have just passed out of view and there won't be any moon transits until around midnight. So as far as, you know, what to look at on Jupiter, tonight's gonna be kind of boring for most of the night. You just love our astronomy nights, don't you? Don't you, buddy? Don't you? Hi, pal. That's right. That's right, buddy. That's right. Sun's getting real low. Really nice sunset today. And Jupiter is already out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in business for tonight. Breathtaking observatory, gigantic telescope, but at the moment, all I need is the power cable. It's a bit cloudy, but hopefully we can make that work. We're gonna point at Jupiter and begin the alignment process. Pointing at Jupiter now, we've got it all aligned using Skyline, and it is pointing itself at the planet Jupiter. We've got Jupiter in the eyepiece right now. As you can see, we've got Jupiter centered and tracking in the telescope. Looks like we're getting a moon right there too. The forecast lied to me, it's very cloudy. We are now recording data on the Jovian system at a rate of about 200 frames per second. We've collected 6,000 frames so far, 10,000 frames so far. We have now collected 25,000 frames. So here's what the raw data looked like from the best capture of the night. And here is it stacked with astrosurface. And here's with a little post-processing. Not as good as we could have gotten with an 11 inch, but exciting for a first try. I can't wait for a clearer night. Subscribe to see more of what we do with the CPC 1100. I'm pointed at you.